Hey guys, what's up? So, a little bit of an introduction to the video today. So, I am back home at the moment. Uh, was editing the footage this morning and realised that uh, I've lost quite a, quite a lot of it. So, you'll see when you get into the video, it was very, very hot at the shop last week. And I think what has happened is, is just the camera's been suffering from a little bit of heat stroke, so... You know, it is a much, much shorter video. I think it's probably about 15 minutes. Anyway, uh, yeah, just a little explanation as to what was going on there. Now, uh, this is a pile of stuff to go over to the van. Yeah, I'm heading back there tomorrow. So, yeah, just a few bits and pieces here that I've been sorting out. But, uh, yeah, so, there we go. Let's uh, just get on with it, shall we? Hey guys, what's up? Well, here we go again. Next step in rebuilding this transit. So, if you are seeing my last video, which is incidentally loading right now, then you'll know that I, I got a large part of the interior done. So, what I'm working on next is, I need, or I, what I want to do is put some sort of like hatch on the side to give access to a uh, gas supply and which is there water connections etc so this is what I have doesn't look much at the moment but plan is this will go on the side of the van and uh, yeah we'll have a nice little place to tuck everything into out of sight so let's have a walk over to the van uh, Buddy Alex has just picked up a really, really nice 9N Ford tractor. That is so nice, that. Anyway, I digress. Transit, 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 transit. So, what I want to do is, I want to put an access panel basically here behind the stove. So, somewhere there. Uh, the first thing I need to do is I need the uh, latches and everything for this, so I'm going to get into that first thing. Okay, so I've got a catch and everything made, so it's just a case of figuring out where this is going to go. I'm thinking probably down here. Because <sighs> this line here I think corresponds with like a shelf inside. So if it went about there. Yeah, I think that would work nicely that. Yeah. So <clears throat> next step is I've got actually got glue on this, so it's uh, needs to dry. But uh, the panel that goes in the middle, I think I'm going to go ahead and paint that. Oh, that's the actual panel out of that door. Now, you may be looking at it thinking, God, he didn't cut that very straight. Well, I didn't cut it. That is how it came out of the door over there. This is how it was cut from the factory. That one's a little bit better, but damn, I mean... Damn. <laughs> anyway, let's get these painted. Oh, here we go. Just uh, got to work out exactly where this goes and where I need to start cutting. Yeah, this makes me nervous. Well, there we go. That's it marked out. Go for the scabby bit. Well, there's no turning back now, that's for sure. Uh, got a little bit more to trim out there. And, uh, yeah. Then uh, I'll get this painted up and we'll get it stuck in there. Cool. Well, there we go. Still got to ease the hole a little bit because it's tweaking the frame just slightly, but uh, yeah, she fits in there fine. Dang, she's looking like a camper van. Well, she's all now painted up and put back together. Just trying her in, just make sure she uh, fits correctly. And the next thing is I'm going to start drilling the holes and uh, 
where we'll get uh, screwed in. So, yeah, very, very cool. Happy, 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 happy. Did I mention I'm happy? Wow. There she goes. Obviously, I haven't got her screwed all the way around yet. But, uh, yeah. It's going to be perfect. That. I do have another latch that will go on kind of here somewhere so that it can this will actually be locked locked firm but uh, otherwise yeah, that's her well, there she goes that's it uh, all uh, screwed in and sealed up so I'm gonna leave it open for a few hours uh, just to make sure the seal all dries up nicely and everything and then uh, yeah that's her I'll get the other clasp on and uh, call it good Good morning. Hey guys, and here we go once again. So, my plan for today had been to start installing uh, the gas supply and get all the water supply uh, in place and hooked up. However, uh, I don't know if you can see there, or at least here, but it's raining. So, yeah, that's kind of... Well, it's just uh, dumping the uh, enthusiasm today. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move into the old uh, trailer here and just begin dismantling all the other bits and pieces that I want out of here. I think that's going to be the easiest thing to do. Then that way, get everything that I want and then this can be basically uh, gotten ready for the to be torn apart. Uh, it's a uh, <coughs> yeah. I think that's that's what I'll concentrate on today. Just getting stuff sorted out in here. So yeah, let's get on with it. These fronts, I don't know yet. They may go in the back of the van. I want to put some storage under the seats, but I also want to put some. Uh, well, well. It, 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 in the back of the van but under the seats so they may go there I'm not sure yet I'm just pulling stuff out just uh, you know just figuring out what I've got what I can and cannot use obviously all of this is just junk this will just go on the burn pile uh, got another drawer over there I do have a couple more of these drawers and one thing I thought about doing was just putting uh, maybe a couple of drawers just in the back of the van just for miscellaneous items that you don't really want rolling around so again I'm just playing with ideas here I'm just getting it as much dismantled as possible but uh, yeah I'm getting there slowly I'm assuming you can hear me over this rain that's hammering down on the roof right now but yeah anyway let's get rid of this that continues to rain. As you can see, we're now developing a lake. Ah. Frustrating, very frustrating. We've gone from barely able to breathe because of the heat to uh, just about being washed away. Ah, what a what a friggin' day. Anyway, uh, things are moving along. All the bits that I'm wanting to keep, I'm putting basically in a pile. That uh, cushion that isn't included in it. I just threw it there because uh, I didn't know where else to put it for the time being. But uh, yeah, I'm just on taking all the electrical system out. I am going to remove the gas heater. I'm not putting that in the van. It works great. It do really does, but there is a lot more involved than just sticking it in a in a hole so yeah i'm not putting that in but uh, i'll probably stick it on marketplace or somewhere like that for i don't know 20 bucks but uh, yeah otherwise it's all coming apart quite nicely there yeah, i do want to reuse some of this wiring uh, mainly for the fuse box and everything because why not you know <coughs> Anything that doesn't make great, I will replace, of course. But uh, yeah, 
So, let's continue with the deconstruction. Well, there's the electricals. There, well, the 240 anyway. Uh, fuse box. Uh, that's for a, a 240 socket. And uh, yeah, there's the the power in. So now I've got to get that all installed in the actual little side box. What I'm doing is it's going on the back of the cabinet, and that will be pushed up. So and there'll be insulation around it and everything. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so we are moving along. So I've got all the insulation in there. I've got the hole cut in the floor for the drainage. I've got the back panel on here. If you can see that, I think. You can see that? Yep. So that's where all the, everything will screw to. So, next thing is to move this cabinet back into place and start fixing it to the bulkhead. Yeah. We are certainly moving along today. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, got the fuse box in. I'm on putting the power coupler in now. Uh, other thing to go in there, there is a gas cut off top to go in and of course the, uh, the water supply and the pump and everything for the water supply but uh, yeah, all in all, coming along very very good. Okay, so I now have this just about mounted. I mean it's pretty solid, there's a couple of, I want to put a bracket in down here somewhere on the floor but uh, the rest of it's pretty pretty solid there. Uh, got most of the plumbing in. Still plumbing to do underneath the van but uh, I need to get the bits for that yet so I'll figure that out tomorrow. Uh, I think what I might do tomorrow is I should be able to actually get the uh, refrigerator in and yeah that's it permanently fixed. Well I think I'm going to call it tonight and then we'll get back to this tomorrow so yeah. So, we've been pushing on there, I uh, have moved the van up next to the workshop. Okay. Open that up, and I don't know if you can see that, but we've now got all the plumbing in, the gas works in, uh, 240 and 12 volt, uh, yeah, everything is now in that little utility box. So, inside, Got the wiring in for the refrigerator. I just got to cut that a little shorter. Got all the plumbing in down there. Obviously, this all has to be uh, clipped back yet. It's uh, I'm just got it laid in place at the moment. Uh, got plumbing in for the sink, wiring in for the sink. Uh, because just in case you don't know, uh, there's a switch basically inside the faucet uh, at the top. When you when you turn the tap on, it uh, sends power to the pump so that is now all hooked up it the uh, cabling is run to the auxiliary battery which I have not got installed yet but uh, yeah God, I'm out of breath because it is just so damned hot at the moment I think the last time I checked uh, the phone said it was about 85 Fahrenheit, uh, 85 Fahrenheit feels like 87 uh, so it's a, a smidgen on the warm side, that's, I don't know what that is in Celsius, I, I don't think in Celsius. So, but uh, yeah, we're getting there slowly. I'm going to get the fridge pushed into place, hooked up. I'll just put a couple of screws in temporarily. I don't want to actually completely fit the fridge because obviously when the auxiliary battery is in and all of that, I need to test it all, make sure it's all still working. It was, but you know how these things go. Sometimes, you know, life happens. Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, this is going to be my last day working on the van for a little while. I'm heading uh, home for a week. I've got some work. So, you know, obviously I've got to earn a little bit of cash to keep this project rolling along. Uh, I will be back in about a week's time. So, uh, yeah. I'll probably end this video today. 
And anyway, I'll get into that later, but uh, yeah, for now, let's get on getting this fridge stuck in there. Well, and there we go. Now, as you can see, I think, yeah, the fridge isn't, uh, isn't uh, screwed in yet, and I've still got down these edges to trim. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's going to be a little kitchen in there, which I think is looking really good. So, yeah. Damn, it's hot. <laughs> anyway, that's where everything's going to sit. Obviously, this is not the countertop. Uh, this is the one I was using basically to hold these cabinets together. I do have an, a new countertop to go on, which that will get done in the next video. That's not going to get done today. But uh, <coughs> one thing I'm going to do, clean this uh, bed area off. I want to measure this up and then order the foam so that I can have the, uh, the actual cushions and everything made. Okay guys, there's the outlet there for the plumbing and I'm not sure if you can see that under there but uh, yeah, I've got that all run in now. So, only a few jobs left to do on this and uh, off for inspection, uh, MOT. So, yeah, we are very close. Very close indeed. Well guys, yes, this has been a bit of a short video. Uh, I knew I was leaving tomorrow and I was, you know, pushed for time. So I wanted to race through and get as much of this done as I possibly could before I leave. So that is what I've done. That's why I haven't shot a lot of footage. Uh, I think I got more early on when I was uh, putting the plumbing and everything in, but I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and check. Anyway, uh, going to be a week or two before I'm back onto this. Well, at least a week, and then probably another week before we see another video. have been doing some work on the workshop as well, so I will probably get a little video out on that. Again, that's just going to be a short one. And, uh, yeah... That's really it for now. Uh, I am ending this video right about here, so uh, you know how it goes. Uh, just keep that uh, YouTube algorithm happy. Uh, smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, come back and see me sometime. Have a good one.